Next question is from Vain West 4. How much water should you drink daily? Is a gallon really necessary? Yeah. The gallon number is kind of arbitrary. I don't want to say totally because there's some some stuff to back it, but it's kind of arbitrary. That was promoted by the, I guess, the muscle building community. But I will say this about water, okay? I had no idea as a young trainer the impact that optimal hydration versus minimal hydration had on the body. Like most people are not quote unquote dehydrated. I hate when they use that word like, oh, you need more water because you're dehydrated. Well, not really. You've got enough water to be okay. But then there's a level that's more optimal. And what you notice is your skin changes, joint pain often gets affected. Energy. Energy goes up. This is a big one. This one was this one really tripped me out. I had clients where I, you know, luckily I worked with a a a health practitioner that was very wellness focused at one point. This is before I was really into wellness. And I would hear her tell her clients this over and over again. And then I'd hear the clients come in and say, oh my gosh, I've got way more energy because I'm drinking more water. And I remember the first couple times I heard it, it was like, yeah, it's probably something else. Yeah, it's probably whatever. After about the fifth or sixth person, I said, I wonder if there's something to this. Let me pay attention to water intake with my clients. And I would do things like have them get a container of water where they could measure it. And we would measure out, you know, between half a gallon to a gallon, depending on the person and their size. And I'd say, okay, I want you to make sure to drink four of these every single day. So now the person's aware. And they would come back and say the same thing. I have more energy. Mm -hmm. I feel so much better. My, my, my elbow pain feels a lot better. No more mental fog. This has a huge, this the optimal hydration has a huge impact on all that stuff. I noticed for the pumps when I worked at, I mean, here's the deal, carbs, uh, you know, pre-workout supplements, Arganine, citrulline. I mean, you name it. I've tried them all. Nothing gave me better pumps than just having a lot of water or adequate water or optimized water intake uh, before my workout. So this has a this has a pretty big impact. I'm glad you set the table like that because I actually I get really annoyed by the trainers that that talk shit about this because. This is one of those things, very similar to the conversation we had earlier in this podcast, where generally speaking, it's pretty damn good advice. Yeah. But you have some of these nerds that want to be, that's not true. And based off of their lean body mass, their activity level, right, there should right. be this many ounces based off. And it's like, dude, you obviously haven't trained that many people before because ain't nobody sitting down and calculating that all out. And very few people even keep track of how many glasses they do in the day either. It's much easier to give a client a very basic goal that were, or ha even have them, like I like to do, carry this gallon around or half gallon and you have to drink it, go through two. It's, it, and it, you're not going to drown drinking one gallon of water. So it's a good goal. Uh, if you come a little bit under this, it's going to be a huge difference. No, it's not. But in my experience, almost every client I ever trained didn't drink enough water. Mm -hmm. And when we started drinking more water, we noticed these things. We noticed skin. We noticed hair. We noticed these things start to get better. Also, like I even noticed with clients, like uh, the achiness in, in their joints and feeling tight. Like I noticed that it like lubricated their, like, their, their ability to move better. Yeah. Like it yeah. saw things like that start to go away. So, and then you talk about pumps. There's lots of benefits to it. And then there's this side in the fitness space that loves to take like this old kind of old adage of drink a gallon of water. And then they want to shit all over it because the science doesn't support exactly that. And it's like, dude, what you're doing is you're you're gonna tell you're gonna tell a, a majority of the masses who aren't drinking enough water. Oh, it's not a big deal because this whole drinking a gallon is just this made up number, right. so I'm not gonna yeah. worry about it. Yeah, the number is arbitrary, but the focus on it is really important. Yeah. It, and to be able to be purposeful, like throughout your day of seeking out water, like we just know all those benefits that we've been listing off. It, it, it's really those are substantial benefits uh, that you're gonna receive from just like intentionally trying to. Increase increase the amount of water that you're consuming every day. And so to have some kind of a goal. So if you can figure that out, like you said, even if it's a half gallon yeah. or, or the gallon, whatever the marker is, you know, you should be like constantly thinking that in the back of your mind. It's, it's when you're not thinking about it. Now, all of a sudden things start to decline. And guess what? It, you know, this is an important part of training. Yeah. You know how much uh, it affects cravings and hunger for some people? Yeah, that too. Because they're not drinking enough water. You know, I would say if you're the kind of average person and you're working out and you're kind of getting into it. Half a gallon is a nice place to start. If you eat a lot of protein, you're a fitness fanatic, you carry a lot of muscle, 
then probably more towards a gallon. It, now, those are again, those are general numbers. Yeah, I mean, I totally. I mean, obviously, talking to a 115 pound woman versus a 260 pound, you know, man. Of course, there's difference for mm -hmm. RDA type stuff, right? But here's the deal. One gallon is just not a bad, I mean, one gallon is going to cover most people. Is it a little more than some people are going to eat? Yeah, but there, are you going to drown from having, you know, a half a gallon too much? No. No. So it's not, to me, it's, it's, it's good advice. It's not something you should get freaked out about if you barely miss your one gallon, but I think it's a, it's a good generic target. You want to know what's, what else is funny? Do you know how many times digestive issues, especially constipation, is solved by drinking more water? Sure. Um, Literally. Constipate, like I, I've had clients where this was, because I had someone who did gut health in my studio, and they would work on my clients along with me, and I do the training and they do the other stuff. And I, they would tell me afterwards, you know, what was the, well, you know, what's the recommendation? I say, well, I'm just going to start drinking more water. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, but you've had, you know, your constipation issues have been with you for years. I know, but they want me to drink more water. All right, let's see what happens. And it was like 30% of the time, it was like three out of 10 people that solved their constipation issue. And I remember being blown away by it. So there's, remember, there's, there's adequate and there's optimal, just like with protein. You know, if you have about 60 grams of protein a day, you're going to be okay. You're not going to die. Is that optimal for building muscle and performance? For most people, no. For most people, it's much more than that. Same thing with water. Yeah. There's you're not, you're probably not drinking too little to where you know shit's gonna go wrong. But then there's optimal in which you'll notice some some benefits.